Hey there all cider lovers, it's the Cider Fanatic here, back with another cider review. So yeah, a little bit more cider action on the channel today guys. Uh, once again, we are going to take a look at an offering from uh, Pomologic out of Sweden, out of Strängnäs in Sweden. Pomologic Cidery, we have their Taihiki hopped cider on the table. As you can see, big fat uh, cap there with a resealable swing top there with the Swedish flag pretty cool nice traditional looking bottle 750 milliliter bottle guys with a Say this one clocks in at 6% ABV uh, Bottled in 2017 and now we have 2019 so two years on this this bad boy uh, Yeah, uh, this one is hopped with New Zealand hops Taihiki hops uh, to provide another dimension uh, of flavor. So yeah, uh, and the apples used are uh, Rubinola and Cox Orange. So with that said guys, let's get this show on the roll. Oh, nice hiss there. There we go. A lot of smoke. Oh, smells nice. There we go. Oh, right, guys. In view, as you can see. There we go. In view, guys. Lovely amber colored, but very clear cider. Nice carbonation climbing the walls of the glass. There looks really, really nice. Quickly dissipating foam on top. Looks very, very nice. Look at that carbonation, guys. Look at that carbonation rising. Let's dive in. Yeah, lovely citrusy smell to this one. Oh yeah, citrus, kind of passion fruit almost. Yeah, a little bit of uh, peach almost in there as well. Uh, not so funky though, not so farmhouse funky. A little bit light and spritzy on the nose. Yeah, let's dive in and see what we got with this one. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, right guys, so, uh, yeah, Taihiki, you definitely get the hops in there, the Taihiki hops, uh, you do have that uh, kind of a uh, bitterness in the back end there, so it's not really super in your face, it's kind of a more lurking around in the background. It's uh, light in the, in the uh, body, it's light on the palate, spritzy, citrusy, um, yeah, it's very little bit wine-like, of course, more some wine-like tendencies in this uh, cider. Let's see if we can get another one. Yeah, dry, wine-like, hoppy, bitter back end, spritzy. Uh, Yeah, almost kind of champagne-like in a way. Uh, bitter autumn apples, I would say. But the, the flavors aren't so pronounced as I thought they would be, actually. A little bit subdued. Uh, you, the citrus is dominating. The wine-like character is dominating there. Uh, definitely not, for me personally anyways, not one of the best ciders from uh, Pomologic, but they are doing a lot of interesting uh, ciders, a lot of experimentation, a lot of barrel aging, and this one is barrel aged as well, but it doesn't really come out as much, I would say. Uh, a final sip, guys, and then we'll rate this one. Yeah, okay. So, guys, that's it. Uh, another solid for Pomologic, although not one of the best. Uh, 
easy to drink. It's very, very refreshing. Uh, that citrusy character make, makes it more refreshing, of course. You got the wine-like character, but not super astringent. A little bit of astringency, of course, but not much. Uh, yeah, as I said, light, spritzy, nice carbonation. Uh, but for me, not one of the best, but definitely uh, noticeable. <laughs> definitely one to try out and enjoy. So, yeah. Uh, the hops uh, are adding a another dimension to the beer, but or to the cider, I would say, but not really uh, so much pronounced that I, that I was hoping that this would provide a little bit more pr pronounced flavor, a little bit more hoppiness, but it's more lightly hopped, I would say, it's dry hopped, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to give this one, Taihiki from Pomologic, a solid 3 out of 5. That was everything I had for today, guys. Feel free to chime in, thumb me up if you like the review, subscribe to the channel. Have a good one, see you next time.